And the world woke up recently only to discover it was part of a galactic federation. And everyone mocked the idea. But is the idea as crazy as it sounds? Find out next on The Edge. second story, if a Muamua really is an alien object, it may have been sent here by the Galactic Federation. And no, that's actually not a Star Trek reference, though I'm not above that. No, this Galactic Federation is actually a grouping of alien civilizations that has been in contact with our government for decades. Now this is not something thrown together by the National Enquirer, I assure you. This news is in fact something that made headlines because it was revealed by a high-ranking Israeli general named Haim Eshed. And he had a lot more to say. Amongst his many revelations was that humans have been working with aliens on a special base on Mars and that Donald Trump was about to reveal their existence, but alien intervention prevented him from doing so. Humanity, according to Eshed, apparently is not ready yet. Forbes added some levity to this in their online edition of the story. Quote, The existence of a galactic federation might seem a bit far-fetched, sure, but the idea of Trump keeping such an earth-shattering secret, never blurting it out during a rally, is simply beyond the realm of possibility. Okay, true, but a bit glib. Now, there was a time when I would have completely dismissed all of this as lunacy. But, and I mean this sincerely, Put this story in the context of the 2019 Pentagon disclosure of the existence of UFOs. Yeah, that was a whole year ago, so you can be forgiven for forgetting about it. If you're not aware of what happened in 2019, the Pentagon acknowledged the legitimacy of video footage leaked two years earlier, which depicted stunning UFO footage taken by Navy pilots from the USS Nimitz and the USS Roosevelt. The Pentagon confirmed the legitimacy of these videos, but also disclosed that these were of unknown origin. That's a euphemism for UFO, though the new preferred lingo is Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP, because UFO has baggage. I mean, let's face it, if you acknowledge UFOs, pretty soon you'll be talking about the Galactic Federation, and we can't have that now, can we? Now, this is essentially UFO disclosure that long-awaited time ufologists have been hoping for when the government finally comes clean about the existence of UFOs. Because if these were from another country, the Pentagon would know about it. They wouldn't be classified as unidentified. People weren't living in a new world. Have you seen these videos? The Tic Tac UFO? They are doing impossible things. Louis Elizondo, the former head of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, which was a Pentagon program that studied UAPs, had this to say about these unusual videos in an interview with CNN. Quote, There is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. These aircraft, we'll call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory, nor in any foreign inventory that we are aware of. Unquote. Senator Harry Reid of Nevada tweeted, I'm glad the Pentagon is finally releasing this footage, but it only scratches the surface of research and materials available. The U.S. needs to take a serious scientific look at this and any potential national security implications. The American people deserve to be informed. What? Harry Reid wants us to take this seriously? Wouldn't that be an insult to honest scientific inquiry, as Paul M. Sutter said, of Oumuamua? Sorry, I had to get another shot in on that poor guy. Okay, let's sum this up. The Pentagon acknowledges UFOs. Louis Elizondo says we may not be alone. Sandra Reed says there is way more to see, and Paul Sutter is just pissed that we're talking about this. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we've had UFO disclosure. We're just not allowed to call them that. Now, maybe there are human explanations. Perhaps the Pentagon has a reason to lie, to cover up something more down-to-earth that they don't want us to know about. Let's face it, it's the Pentagon. But take them at their word for a minute. There are strange objects of unknown origin basically teasing Navy pilots over American airspace. If the Pentagon had not revealed the existence of these UAPs, it would be easy to mock believers in the Galactic Federation. 
But until we're able to figure out exactly what is capable of free reign in American skies in a post 9-11 world, and the military has no clue what they are seeing, let's cut these believers some slack. And this is not the only government official, by the way, to disclose the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. Don't forget, Canada's former defense minister, Paul Hellyer, went public about his belief in UFOs way back in 2004, and later said there were four different alien species who had been visiting Earth for thousands of years. But this is all crazy, right? What do you guys think? Is it less crazy? Is, is the Galactic Federation less crazy to you now that the Pentagon has actually admitted the existence of UAPs? I think it is. But what do you think? Like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts down below. And if you like edgy content, check out my award-winning young adult novels, Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, and Unwatchigi the Dreamer.